It just gives me a chance to catch me tonsils back up. Do I want something to drink? <laughs> hey, sure, the water's never touched these lips. Oh, you're a good crew. Okay, let's see. Let me go with Patty and Mike again. Patty and Mike, this time, they're working on a road project. You know, you're fixing up the pavement and stuff in front of our grand building, something like this, right? And they're working. But you know what the building is? Does anybody know what a house of ill repute is? <laughs> Are you giggling up here? Benedict has got one. <laughs> oh, boy, it is a lively place. But anyway, it's a house of ill repute, and they're fixing the roads out front of it. And Pat and Mike are just working along. All of a sudden, a gentleman comes up, which is not unusual, but this gentleman is a Baptist minister, and he's got a Bible. He looks at the two fellows, nods his head, puts the Bible in his coat, and goes in. Pat looks at Mike, he says, did you see that, Mike? Oh, yeah, he says, I never thought I'd see such a thing. Oh, it's none of our business, just keep on working. So you keep working. But a half hour later, a Jewish rabbi comes in. Got the little yarmulke. He nods to the fellows there. They nod back. He takes his yarmulke off, puts it in his coat, and he goes in. Pat looks at Mike. Mike, did you see that? He says, I saw it. He said, I'd never believe it if I saw it. Didn't see it. Oh, he says, what's the world coming to when a man of the cloth partakes of the sins of the flesh? Just a terrible thing. Oh, but it's none of my business. Keep working. So keep working. Aye, right, now. Here comes Father O'Malley. Aye, right, lads. You're having a fine day there, aren't you? Aye, right, Father, we're having a grand time. Just digging away at the mud. Hey, uh, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Hey, it is. Priest takes his hat off, and he goes in the house. Mike looks at that, he says, did you see that? He goes, I, one of the poor girls must have died. <laughs> uh, just don't tell that to Father Joel. <laughs> he likes to communicate me again. Okay, there's a little song here that I like to do. In Ireland, they like to play with the music sometimes. They have fun with it. Particularly when everybody has not been drinking water. <laughs> and they're in that lubricated mode. And what you do is you take a song and you take and chuck a word out. And the duty of the people is to figure out what the missing word is. It's a simple thing, folks. We keep, you know why we keep it simple? In case an Englishman walks into the pubs, they can handle it. <laughs> okay? The song is called The Fly. Now, we're going to substitute, instead of a word, we're going to substitute Sean. Oh, Sean likes the shh sound. You know, like being quiet. Shh. Because he does, he gets, he gets out of watch. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to substitute the shh sound for a word. While I'm substituting the shh sound for the word, you let me know at the end of the song what you think that word is. There, it's an appropriate song, too. There was a little fly. He flew into the store. He shh on the ceiling and he shh on the floor. He shh on the bacon and he shh on the hand. He shh on the head of the little grocery man. I that table, I told you, hold back the drinks, they're way ahead of the rest. <laughs> the little grocery man got his little spray gun. He said he'd catch the fly before the day was done. But before he could count from one to ten, the fly went shh on his baldy head again. <laughs> now, if you want to join into that chorus too, that's a fine thing to do. I love it when you join your chorus. Just try to get your shh in the right place. I hear there was a little fly, he flew into the store, he shh on the ceiling and he shh on the floor, he shh on the bacon and he shh on the ham, he shh on the head of the little grocery man. The little grocery man and his little grocery wife swore they'd catch the fly even if it meant their life said so they got themselves a hand grenade and laid upon a floor and blew themselves to the blazes as the fly went out the door there was a little fly he flew into the store he shh on the ceiling and he shh on the floor he shh on the bacon and he shh on the ham he shh on the head of the little grocery man 
Now they both went up to heaven and angels they were made. Saint Peter said to them, hey folks, you'll be repaid. So he got his angel's wings and he flew up in the sky. He swooped down like a bomber and he sh up on the fly. <laughs> there was a little fly. He flew onto the store. He sh on the ceiling and he sh on the floor. He sh on the bed and he sh on the ham. He sh on the head of the little grocery man. I hear there was a little fly. He flew into the store. He sh on the ceiling and ish on the floor. He sh on the bacon and ish on the ham and ish on the head of the little grocery man. <laughs> okay, before I forget what the word was, does anybody know what the word is? The missing word. It's landed. I it's landed. You got the clean crew up here. <laughs> Hey, some of them come up with some wicked bad stuff. <laughs>